the Dream Interim Heavyweight Strap. Alastair Overeem takes on Todd Duffy. Well, I train very hard all my life. I've been training now for 15 years. I've been fighting for 13 years, so it's a long time. フライドロリンクで脇役を務めていたオランダの細マッチョはこの数年で異常なゴリマッチョに変貌ミルコをねじ伏せたその試合を強ドルはどう見たのかビオ人間はここまで危険な生き物になれる My name is Alice Dobrin I am the strongest in the world 前の馬田ハリ慶応に端を発する慶応リング十輪劇慶応ワールドグランプリはたった二回目の挑戦で楽々優勝くしくも二千十年は六十億分の一元相が崩れた年。I'm now looking forward to get my third belt this year. The first belt was Strike Force, the second belt was the K1 belt, and now the third belt for the Dynamite Show, the Dream Belt. アメリカの超新星トッドダフィー全ての勝利が KO勝利UFC最短勝利記録を持つなぜか今UFCをリリースされていた将来の最強候補である um, I was excited, you know, I've, I've, I'm coming off an injury Not a lot of guys are afraid of Alistair, but he's just a man Just like we all are 今のアリスターが果たして人間と呼べる存在なのか今夜はっきりする So if it's Fredo Shoto, come, come, come try and get the belt. If it's Andre Oloski, if it's Josh Burnett, anybody can come and uh, we're gonna fight. I will destroy it. And now for the ninth and heavyweight interim title match. In the blue corner, from the United States of America. Duffy wastes no time in coming to center ring here. Has never been the distance in mixed martial arts. All of his fights have ended by a knockout or two. He's beaten Osorio Silva and Tim Hague. He's only lost that knockout to Mike Rousseau. Trains out of the throwdown training center in Las Vegas. And done some sparring and training out of extreme Katsua. With the likes of K1 Luchin, Ray Zippo, Bryce Ratani Co, and the team there. Akakona Yori, Arista Oflame Session on Usual.
Bolt the stable door because the Ream is in the house. The most imposing sight in all the world of mixed martial arts. And K1 thugs his way to the ring. The recently crowned K1 World Grand Prix Champion and also the Strike Force Heavyweight Champion is now looking to become the Dream Interim Heavyweight Champion. He says people are ducking him. Fedor's ducking him. Arlovsky's ducking him. And he's happy that Duffy has stepped up to the plate. But he plans on making short work of the American. More muscles than a seafood platter. The Herculean figure that is the ring. これより第9試合を行います。赤コーナー195cm、119cm。アリスター、オーフェイム。ルビー、大城の no, Bruce okay. Anderson. Oh, 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 Here we go for the final instructions from our center oh, referee. Alistair Overeem, 33 and 11 in mixed martial arts. Doffy, 6 and 1. Overeem comes in, rightly so is the heavy favorite, minus 450. Duffy at plus 350. Three rounds of action. Overeem, the stare down. Corner. No extension rounds. The title on the line. Overeem known for the Uber knee. Big ferocious hands on Todd Duffy. Judge. There is Judge. no way this Judge. one goes the distance. Hit. Fight! The Ream and the Duck. Michael Chabello, Fred Dream, and stops in. Duffy fires the uppercut. Overeem with the knee. And the overhand right from the Ream. Here comes the Hercules, here comes the power, and Duffy tries to back him up with a curling right. Got matching knee from the ring, he tags him, it's over. Good man, Overeem! Overeem is the Dream Interim Champion in a heartbeat. Too easy, nobody, hear me, nobody can stop the Ream. I'm not saying Todd Duffy is an awesome opponent, because it took a little short notice. What I wanted to say is, hopefully Todd Duffy Spark tries to take the ring down, try to test his waters from his jitsu skills on his back, but I couldn't get there before he got knocked out. We knew that someone was going to get knocked out, Frank, did you think it would be this quick? I thought it would be within the first half of the first round, but I didn't think Todd was going to go out this fast. You know, that's what happens when you take a fight against Overeem on a short notice. Overeem wants Fedor Emelianenko. Will he get him in 2011? Duffy made short work on. Beautiful knee to midsection, right hand. Duffy was on rubber legs, the left hand finished the job. How come the two fights I need to go all night? The fight I put pink hair on, end up going, this one goes fast, the next one's probably going to go quick too. It's not fair to me. <laughs> it's the world's inspiring. We are hurrying up to put that pink wig on your head as Elisir Overeem is crowned the interim dream heavyweight champion. Bus <laughs> Manage Manager. <laughs> Martin Dijong, all the team from Golden Glory, the ring team. His wickedly hot girlfriend. She's okay. Alistair Overeem, who exploded onto Dynamite a couple of years ago, knocking up Butter Hurry under K1 rules. And here he is tonight, knocking out Todd Duffy. I give it to Duffy for taking a fight on short notice. No one else would step up to the plate. Even though Overeem has spent the last two and a half weeks since winning the K1 Grand Prix, doing a publicity tour of Japan, he's hardly trained at all. He's been staying at the a and Intercontinental for two and a half weeks. They'd set up a mixed martial arts camp for him back home and he didn't end up going there. Says he misses his daughter Storm. 
He can't wait to go home now for the new year. And he goes home a triple world champion. He's awesome, Frank. He's all right. He's okay. I mean, he's only pretty much dominated all the biggest guys in the world right now. Konbanwa! Genki desu! You said uh, good night, right. everyone doing well? Thank We're you for coming to. to see my fight. This year, I won three world titles. Strike Force, then K1, and now Dream. Strike Force, K1, and then Dream. And I promise you all, I'm going to keep giving you great fights. So, I'm going to keep giving you great fights. I'm going to keep giving you great fights. And thanks to Crowd in Japanese to great applause here. I have a feeling my phone has that um, with over a few winning these titles, horses beware everywhere. So I think everyone's going to start eating horse meat and catch up to over it. Hello, Sarah, everyone. The pleasure of doing the voice versus the ring on HGV. He is eloquent, he is intelligent, he is a gentleman outside of the ring. An absolute wrecking ball inside the ring or the cage. The ring with another title. Who can stop this man? You know, I don't like long fights, and long fights injure you. You get injuries, and, and secondly, I always go for the knockout. I think I only have one decision win in my career of MMA. In the kickboxing, I have two, I believe. But uh, I always want to go for the knockout. Uh, what is that goal next year? Well, this year is uh, almost coming to an end. Next year I'm going to have a nice first, first I'm going to have a nice holiday. Let my body recover because it has been four fights in one month. Seven fights in a year is a lot. So we're going to have a nice holiday, four, five, six weeks. And after we will, uh, <clears throat> after we will start training again. And then we're going to defend the belts. All of them. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work. There was a lot of work to get them, and there's going to be more work to defend them. But we've got to keep the fans happy, so we're going to do it. Uh, um, can, you give, um, can you have a message to, to a Japanese fans into the camera, please? I'll tell Japanese fans, I got the third title this year, and uh, it's going to be very good in 2011 to fight for you fans again. Thank you very much. Great yeah? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not taking anything away from you, dude. You're a fucking incredible fighter, man. Just uh, if, if, there's a, if I can build my record, maybe get an opportunity again at you or something like that, I'd really appreciate it if you could do that for me, man. Like, I think I think everything you do is I got a lot of respect. For I don't know what the fuck I was thinking out there. Listen, but you're gonna get more shots here. Hmm? Yeah, I gotta come out and fight, and not. Oh, you were still. Is that what I did? You guys saw it, I don't know. But hey, it was. Huh? Did I even hit you? 
One was, one was him. But it wasn't. Yeah, it was this though. No, 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 but one, one was like, yeah, I gotta keep sharp. But it's like this. You kept your nerves very well, and that's what I, I did not do. I could feel how calm you were. No, no, but that's, normally I'm, I'm more calm. Like, even when I am aggressive, honestly, like when I thought it swear I was really aggressive, I was still calm here. And I thought, yeah, I wasn't calm. Not to take it, no, you're, you're fucking an incredible fighter. You're one of the best in the world. I was honored to fight you. And I've, I've learned a lot tonight. De definitely. Thank you, man. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, take care, man. Hello, yeah, Ellis, Ellis. Let's go. Yeah. Yo. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all for that. Kijk, die stoot. Ik ben nu 118 kilo. Die stoot is ook niet meer weg. Ik moet natuurlijk niet 10 krijgen, maar eentje, ja. Eentje maakt niet zo wat. Je bent de K1 gasten bergen. <laughs> Ja, wat goed de rode. En Aisha, maar ik zie jou woensdag. Woensdag kom ik bij met de belt en ik neem al die belts mee. We nemen al die belts mee. We nemen al die belts mee. Ja, is goed. Is goed. Ik heb een foto met die dingen, vind ik mooi zo. Ja, man. Hé, bel, bel. Ja, ik zal maar even geven. Maar bel zo meteen nog even, ja? Dan zijn we nog wat met de rust. Yo, yo. Yeah. <laughs>